All right, in this tutorial, we're going to work on modeling a car. And I found this car online, and uh, I've adapted it to uh, for our project. Again, this is a real quick learning tutorial. So uh, if you want to get these images, um, I guess you could make a screenshot of this, or you could try to find this online. Uh, this is the, that was the back, and this is the front and the side and the top view of this car. Probably won't model the chairs. I may want to, uh, may borrow that from another car. But um, anyways, you can just quickly grab these, put it into Photoshop, and uh, get started. All right, so I want to show you how to get these into Maya. So we're going to go ahead and go to my top view and go to my panels here. Oops. View, I'm sorry, view, image plane, import, view, image plane, import image. And I'm going to go to my desktop and uh, did I have a folder here called car. And I'm going to go to my top view and put it in here. I'm going to go to my attribute editor and just make sure this is at 3030. Image is 3030. And I, I did. Put these in Photoshop and I did crop them in a way so they would um, sit properly. So we're going to go um, front and side. Okay, my front. So I'm actually going to put in the front of the car. We can switch this out later when we start modeling the back end and switch that out and we can flip it around. So we're going to go to view, image plane, import image. Go back to my uh, desktop and my car. And we're going to do uh, front. Again, we'll, we can switch that out later. So make sure that's 30 30. And let's go ahead and see how that's looking. All right, so it's on the wrong uh, perspective. So we're going to put this on a different view. And we're going to actually switch that out to. And we're going to do this to a side view. All right. All right, so that's lining up properly. All right, so what I'm going to do is leave that car where it is. I'm going to scooch it over a little bit, but I'm going to bring the top view up and out of the way so when we're modeling, it's not in our way, even though we're only going to be modeling half of the car. All right, um, what I do is like to do is hold Command. And you can go into the center there and type type in your number, or you can hit Command or Pound key or, whatever, or Command, and go up and down. All right. And like, like I said, actually like where it is. I think I just want to move it off to the side here. All right, move it off to the side so we can see what's in the center. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select my top one. some reason it does not allow me to do command Z. I'm going to put this on the bottom there. All right. Now we're going to go into side view, which is actually our front view, and put in our front image. So we're going to go ahead and import image. And I'm going to do front. And again, like I said, we can easily flip this out later. So you can always go into here. So once we start modeling the back of the car, you can go into here and change this in the folder and go to back of the car. All right, so I know this is the wrong size. So we were going to clean this up. Let's go ahead and size it down. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my command and right click. Let's see, and make this bigger in here. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let's see. I think that's almost it. Um, 12 and 12. I'm going to type in 12.2. 12 
Hi, I'm sorry. If I should have made these into squares so they could sit in here. Uh, you can output your cars into squares instead of rectangles and more rectangles. You could have done a better job with that. All right, so it looks like that's lining up pretty good. Um, do you want to double check that? I'm going to go ahead and create a polygon plane. And this is not the best way to do this, but anyways, you probably, again, you want to probably bring this into Photoshop to make your squares. All right, so I'm just kind of sizing this up and seeing where the top of the car, top of the windshield looks like it's right there. Also the steering car. Looks like that's right. Let's see. My side view. All right, looks like looks like everything's lining up. All right. So you saw that I did 12.1 on my front view or side view, whatever that is. And this is rotate 90 degrees mathematically, and I'm just going to check make sure. end of my tires here are matching up with my drawing here. All right. Looks like everything is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to move this back into my scene. Okay. This is the channel editor and this is your attribute editor. Um, you can, when you go over it, it'll tell you what it is. Um, I do want to move this back. So I'm going to hit my command and right, move that to the back. That way I always have a reference point and that way we can model all the stuff in here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my grid. Good. And of course you are watching. You can. There we go, I always have a hard time finding it when I need to find it. All right, there we go. I'm going to save this file and then we're going to go ahead and start working on some nerves lines so we can start having some uh, guidelines on our uh, model. All right.